Okay guys, today we're going to be moving Tazzy in his enclosure with the base upstairs to the snake room. Um, I've been thinking about this for a little while. Uh, it'll give us a little bit more room downstairs here and he won't be doing that all day. Because if the dog's running around he gets a little stressed out. So we're going to get him settled down and we're going to get him upstairs. Alright, be back shortly. Okay guys, we got Tez's cage up here. Um, got it all cleaned out. Starting to put the uh, zoom at uh, jungle floor substrate in there. Forest floor, I'm sorry. Um, I tried some of this with him. Let me set you in here. I tried this with him a little while back and he seemed to enjoy it. So I'm going to give him a, a whole brand new enclosure full of it. So bear with me. I'm gonna film the job of getting it up the, the tank and everything up here. So let's try to put this whole bag. So I'm gonna give him about two inches or so. He likes to dig around a little bit. You guys are in the way right now. I'll move you guys out. Show you around in here. Alright. Alright, as you'll see in the first clip of this video, on the introduction clip, I guess you could call it, I uh, showed you Taz. He was getting a little stressed out by the dogs downstairs playing. And they're uh, running around and running into the cage and the stand and everything. And uh, it's kind of stressing them out a little bit. So, made the decision to bring him upstairs. He's been downstairs here at the house for you know, nine, almost nine years now since I got him. And uh, the dogs are just kind of stressing him out at the moment. So, all right, there's the junk, the forest floor substrate. I'll get my squirt bottle out here. Just kind of give it a thorough squirt down. This stuff, I'm, I like this stuff a lot I think because uh, it holds the moisture really really well. And Tazzy likes it really wet. So I'll probably have to do this a couple times over the next, the course of the next couple of days to get this nice and wet. Holds the humidity real well. I use the Reptibark too. Um, noticed it doesn't hold the humidity nearly as well as this stuff. I'm going to try the um, maybe some of that Cocoa Block. Uh, next time uh, I get a chance to get some of that, I might grab some and see how I like that. I may like it better than this. So, get this all mixed up the last stuff I had Tazzy on was uh, that uh, the, the, the dirt, the, I can't think of the name of it now, the, the blocks of dirt you get and you throw it in a bucket and let it get wet, soak up the water. And he seemed to enjoy that pretty well. So he was, he's was he been on that for the last few years. I've had him on up to bark. This will be the first time he's had this total, this straight uh, forest floor stuff. So, I'm going to resituate you guys again, and I'm going to stretch back in there, get water dish. I believe it's up here somewhere. Nope, it's still downstairs. So I'm going to have to edit the clips together, so I'll be right back. Okay, with the magic bed ending, you guys are going to be gone a couple seconds. I've been gone about five minutes. So, there's Tess's water dish. Nothing spectacular. Uh, mainly because I don't have anything small enough, or should I say big enough, to use for him that he doesn't spill. I've got big water dishes that you can buy at the stores, but the big water dishes you buy at the stores, he still spills them. Fill this up real quick, and kind of set it in there. Not spilling it everywhere, that is. 
Not at all. Because when he does, when he spills his water dish, it gets everywhere, and then he gets too wet. It's way too wet in here. So uh, straighten this out a bit. He'll probably spill this the first couple of times he's in here, rooting around in it. I may actually put a little bit more in there. Got some water here. It's fresh water from the humid for the humidifier. I'm gonna put some water in here from the sink though, I believe. Little sorry about that, little sink, little. I'm okay with spilling a little bit in there because it is pretty dry yet. That'll do for now. I'll fill that up a little bit more here in a minute. And of course, this is the hot side of the cage right here, this enclosure. This is where I always put his hide. Tazzy likes to explore and roam around in his cage. Uh, it's just an old, old, old Tupperware box that I found. It's been clean and reused a dozen times. Um, he seems to enjoy that. He, it's about perfect. He can get cozy up in there. He can actually fit all of his body in this. So, for four bucks, I think I spent on this at Walmart about six years ago. It's been well worth. I've got my money's worth out of it. We did find one at uh, Chicago Reptile House that was actually big enough, made out of the um, plaster or whatever you want to call that stuff, molded. Uh, looked like a, a rock. That thing was almost sixty dollars so we may get that for him eventually but I think this is gonna work just fine for now. Alright now I'm gonna resituate you. Sorry about that. I don't have my shirt on today because I'm up here working hard. You know I don't want to get my shirts all messed up so I'm gonna touch you down a bit. You can see what I'm doing here. Hopefully a little bit more water in there. Tazzy drinks a lot of water. That's one thing he does do a lot of is he drinks excessive amounts of water. So I'm always constantly changing and filling his water dishes. All right, now I think we might be ready for the big guy to get in here. I actually have him in a tote over here. Grab the guy to bring you with. He's actually in this toad here. I have some more of the Reptibark all set up. I'm using it in a couple of the small enclosures for the little, for the littler snakes. So, hard to believe there's a almost a six foot reptile in here. There he is. Just, just chilling out. Set the lid over here. And we're gonna get him antiquated with this new. Well, it's not a new enclosure. It's a new place for his enclosure so I'm actually going to set you guys down and pick him up because he's too heavy to hold just by myself with one hand so I'm going to set you guys back in here and check the angle of the camera yeah we're going to set him over here by his water dish like right in here all right do this with the camera in case see if you try not to get him to freak out too much on him. There you go, buddy. There you go. I'll go down and get your rock too. Is that even bring that up yet? Alright, there he is. Taz the blood python in his nice clean and relocated enclosure. There he is. It's kind of happy, doesn't it? So I'm going to end this little video I got for you guys. Tomorrow's Tuesday. be another feed day, of course. Um, I'll probably... And another, I'm going to do another quick bit on the, um, the incubator I got going. A little zoom in. Um, not, not too much to report on that, actually. I'm just doing some about a minute clip every day, maybe 30 seconds every day, giving an update on it. 
other than the fact that it works really well and it does what it's supposed to. Uh, until we get some babies, which soon I hope, maybe this coming season we'll get some, but we'll see. He's already starting to push his nose in the substrate a little bit. Just checking everything out. Yeah, I do like this Force 4 stuff, I'm, I have to say. It's good stuff there. Alright guys, until next time, for myself, Tazzy, Discord, Pinky, Odin, Thor, Medusa, Serenity, and Loki, and all the fur babies, Storm, Sky, Oreo, and Shadow. Hope everyone's safe and doing well. I'll see everyone soon. Goodbye. Just real quick, I told you Tazzy can fit his whole body in there. He's slowly but surely getting everything situated in there. And he's chilling out. He explored a little bit, but he's more or less just chilling for now. He got all of his weights and his lights up top. Here. Uh, right here is his rock. I leave that, this rock in there for him when he, for, to shed with. It's got some edges on it that he can catch with and shed real easy. But, yep, we're going to leave alone for now. I don't think I'm going to put his night light up right now. I'm going to wait and see how he does without it. Because uh, now that he's up here, I was using this as, this light here has got a, a black light bulb in it, uh, 75 watt. I don't think I'm going to use it because I was using it as a supplement for heat downstairs because we keep it downstairs a little bit cooler. Um, and now he's got the 75 watt heat lamp here on my custom lid that I've got. Uh, damp towel and the substrate's been sprayed. Like I said, I will spray this a couple more times before the end, before I'm satisfied with it. But all right, until then I'm gonna race through, check all the little kids real quick, and then uh, we'll be back tomorrow with another video for you. All right, see you.